welcome to visit plot classes dear students in this video lecture we are going to discuss how to plot graphs which is very important technique for the science students here i have considered two examples one from the first year syllabus other from the second year syllabus if you are visiting this channel for the first time subscribe the channel in order to watch interesting and informative videos the first example is the determination of effective length of a simple pendulum it is from the first year we have considered the, the readings given in the table are actually obtained by a student in a laboratory therefore there may be errors in the measurement these are not calculated values now to plot a graph first we need to draw two mutually perpendicular coordinate axes and we have to mention which quantities are plotted along the y axis and which is along the x axis here the first value l will be along the y axis the second value t square will be along the x axis the length which should be plotted along the y axis is given in the table and square of the time period it is plotted along the x axis to decide the scale of the given graph we need to consider the nature of the graph observe the nature of the graph it is a straight line starting from the origin and the maximum value along the x axis is 4 second square similarly if you know the theory then we will know that the length of the second pendulum is 1 meter which is the maximum value along the y axis therefore while deciding the scale we have to consider how much distance is available for us along the y axis and also along the x axis more space is available along the x axis compared to the y axis therefore we decide our scale according along the x axis 1 cm will be equal to 0.5 second square and along the y axis 1 cm will be equal to 0.2 meters students we can decide the scale according to the distance available for us in our graph sheet we can change it but remember that always it should be defined for 1 cm now let us write the values along x and y axis since 1 cm is equal to 0.5 second square along the x axis here the 2 cm will be marked as 1 2 3 and 4 which is the maximum value which should be obtained here similarly along the y axis it will be 0.2 0.4 and 1 point since we have a measured values there may be some errors in the measurement which will result in the error in the final result which will cause error in the final result therefore i have considered the value greater than the maximum value along the x axis which is 1.2 meters now let us mark all the points they are not lying in the straight line now the question is how to draw the straight line in this graph we can see that in the nature of graph this straight line should start from the origin and never try to join the points while drawing the graph straight line should be in such a manner that all the points which are marked should be lying much closer to this straight line they should be equally distributed on either side of this straight line don't try to join two or three points it should be a straight line on either side of which all the points should be equally distributed if all the points lie on the same straight line then it will be fine but since these are the measured values it will never happen you will never get all the points lying on the straight line now to find out the answer we are going to draw a perpendicular to the graph from the x axis from point 4.0 
from the point where it cuts the straight line we are going to draw a perpendicular to the y axis so which gives the answer for the effective length which is 0.96 meter it is much closer to the theoretical value now let us consider the another example where we are plotting the reciprocal of the image distance along the y axis and reciprocal of the object distance along the x axis this is the graph plotted for obtaining the this is the graph plotted for determining the focal length of the convex lens rough focal length of the convex lens is 20 cm and in the table the values given are actually done by a student in the lab we can see that 1 by u which is plotted along the x axis is negative by using the sign convention 1 by v is positive therefore we have to plot a graph in the second quadrant where x is negative y is positive let us draw the coordinate axis and mark the physical quantities which are plotted along x and y axis here in this graph zero should be included even though the straight line graph is not passing through the zero but it is necessary the maximum value along x and y axis in this graph are equal to reciprocal of the focal length here the value of f is treated to be rough end by choosing f is equal to 20 cm we can decide what should be the maximum value along x axis and also along the y axis which is the same here we have a luxury of choosing the same scale for both x and y axis since 1 by f is equal to 0.05 per cm we can choose 1 cm is equal to 0.01 per cm for both x and y axis mark the values then mark the points each point will be given by different colors because they are lying much closer to each other now while drawing such straight line we should always remember that this straight line should intersect both x and y axis at the same value and also it should pass through most of these points this straight line is intersecting x and y axis at 0.051 per cm the reciprocal of which will give the exact value of the focal length of the given convex lens which is 19.6 cm i hope with these two example you have understood the technique of plotting a graph thank you for watching the video if you have any doubts please write in the comment section